when I come back to my home and I realized my mom also a severe anemic patient. She got a premature heart disease in the age of 37. And the root cause of this premature heart disease is severe anemic for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, myself Partho, I represent a company called EGRX. Don't be surprised, in India, two out of every three women are anemic. In our country, 40 to 50 percent neonates come to the world with the problem of anemia. And you know, first thousand days for each kids is very important to have sufficient hemoglobin in the body for the better cognitive development. When the kids grown up and become an adolescent girls or the boys, you know, in our country, more than 30% adolescent boys and more than 60% adolescent girls are having anemia. It's not only impacting their education, it's impacting their health and the future. If you see any of the age groups in the spectrum of anemia, from uh, six months to maybe more than 75 years, we are very unfortunate. In our country, more than 60% of the women are having this problem. Then what is the solution? The solution is very simple. You just take iron folic acid tablet and take a good food, then you can resolve this problem. Is. So now, if we have a solution, then why we are not able to solve these big problems? You will be very surprised to know that anemia is the India's number one problem. So, so if we categorize the problem, then it's the biggest problem in our country. It's a silent killer. Just put a number. If you see 50% of the women have the problem over the populations, then as a country like Bharat, we are losing 50% of the power. We are just operating of half of the power. And half of the power is taken by anemia. What is anemia? Anemia is the deficiency of hemoglobin. What it does? It carries the oxygen to the whole body. If you don't have sufficient oxygen in the body, if your cells are not getting sufficient oxygen, your organ is not fed with sufficient oxygen, then you have many problems in the going forward. And, and the, you know, we know the problem, we know the solution. So the hidden problem is the testing. In our country, there are many ways to measure hemoglobin. Started with, you just take single drop of blood, put into the paper, take an image, you can measure hemoglobin. There are several devices. You just put one drop of blood and they can measure hemoglobin within less than a minute time. But we realize more than 60% population of our country who believe they are the general population, they don't have any disease, they have a fear to prick and give the blood to major hemoglobinase. And that's the big gap where we are not properly identified who have the anemia and who don't have the anemia is. So the biggest problem is the fear. And we believe into the curative healthcare approach instead of the preventive healthcare approach. And that's the biggest problem. We never go to the doctors or the hospitals or the clinics when we feel we are okay. Till the time we are not ill, we never go, go for a testing. And that's the biggest killer. Basically, not identifying the populations who are very severe in this aspect. We started this idea to build a device which can detect anemia even without pricking the blood. You just think, you simply place your finger, it will take 40 to 50 seconds. The light will pass the epidermis, touch your peripheral blood. When the light is returned back to the circuit, it identifies the biomarker changes for each individual. Based on the pattern of the biomarker changes, it will calculate the value of hemoglobin and simply display into the mobile phone. Then we can transfer it through any messaging services like WhatsApp, Viber, and all. There are another big problem I identified when we are into the market research. If anyone want to check what is my hemoglobin in the last 10 years or the last 15 years, we don't have the data. If somebody wants to check a pregnant mother hemoglobin data in the last 10 months, 
there is no facility available. If a policymaker wants to see a certain geography, let's take an example of Bhuvaneshwar, certain geography, he wants to check the gender specific prevalence of anemia is. There is no options. What we had built is, we had built a simple mobile app. This mobile app is run through multiple local languages. You simply onboard the patient, so it will have ABDM compliant application platform. So if somebody have a health ID, that's fine. If somebody don't have the health ID, just feed the other ID, we can generate your health ID. The data will be safe. So any, anywhere and any time, a policymaker can see where the most prevalence of hemoglobin is based on the age group, based on the gender and others. So building technology is not going to resolve India's problem. We believe the innovation is not building something which can only be built into the lab, not provided to the last mile of our citizens. If the solution is not an affordable solution, then it's not an innovation for a country like India. What we had done, we built the product, done the clinical trials, it got validated, certified by various regulatory agencies, and the science got published into various international journals. The seven years of the journey started with two co-founders. We both are technocrats. We don't know how to sell it. We build the product, visit many hospitals and clinics, when you show the product, people have a question. How you build the product or your team build the product from Bhubaneswar, which is the first time in India? Because many companies come earlier and they got failed. There are few companies available in the world who have non-invasive hemoglobin. But we show the technology, done the clinical trial, slowly get convinced by the people, and that's the journey. We want to see the smiles into all omens in the world, especially all omens in our country like India. What my mom faced, what the others are facing, this technology can be bring to every clinics, every sub-centers, every primary health centers in the country to quickly identify hemoglobin and award them, like you have this much hemoglobin and this is the awareness you need. You need the referral to visit to the nearest sub-centers, clinics and the hospitals. So, as a founder of EGRX, through this platform, I want to convey, like build tech building technologies, not restricted to the lab, make it very affordable, pass it to the common citizens of this country, and make a larger impact. Thank you so much.